Blurred backgrounds are a key component in every game, especially in 3D. Not only do they allow UI menus to really pop, giving them a nice professional look, blurred backgrounds can also be used in a number of other situations. For example, Valheim uses it to obscure their background, giving it a nice styled look. Or we can also blur near field, like when a player enters into water. Today, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to achieve this effect in Unity. I don't want to waste any more of your time, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so I have a pre-made project here. If you want this project, it's available for free on my Patreon, or you can follow the link in the top right where I show you how to make this 3D world in just five minutes. Let's quickly look at the project files. Make sure you have a main camera in your hierarchy view. This environment object is just a container for all of the open world assets that you see. And then the UI canvas is hidden right now, but if we enable it, you can see the inventory UI that I've made. The only problem is there is no contrast between the inventory UI in the background. So today we're going to add in a post processing effect to blur the background. And I promise you, this is the easiest, simplest, most effective way to do it in Unity. Okay, let's go into window and then we're going to go into the package manager. Make sure that you're under the Unity registry and then scroll down to the post processing package. Click on it and then just click install. Click on your main camera in the hierarchy and then go look over at the inspector, click add component. And then we're going to type in post here to get the post process volume. And then we're also going to add the post process layer. So we're also going to go and check this is global flag here in the post process volume. The reason is we want this effect to apply to us anywhere in the 3D space. So it's a global effect. Okay, next we're going to go to this profile and we're going to create a new one. Then go to add effect unity and then choose depth of field. You can go ahead and check all four of these boxes if you want. The only one we're going to mess with is this focus distance. So set it to zero, it'll default down to 0 0.1. So you can see that we're still unable to see the effect. The reason is because this layer property is set to nothing. So change that to everything and now we can actually see that blur in the background. It's working as intended. So go back to the post process volume, add another effect. And then this time we're going to choose color grading. Scroll down a bit and then the option that we're going to choose is this color filter. So click and check it and then we can just kind of drag this along the left side and darken the background a little. In my opinion, this looks way, way better. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly full screen just so we can look at this effect. I think it's looking pretty good. And at this point, we're essentially done. I do wanna talk about one more thing really quick, which is just how to turn this on and off through script. So if you go over to your inspector, you'll find the post process volume here. We can just enable it or disable it and it will completely take this effect away and then add it back on. So that's the only thing that we need to change via script. So all you need to do is create a new script, come in here to an update function, and then what we're going to do is if input.getKeyDown, I'm going to use the key code tab. So if we press the key tab, we're going to run this if statement. Then we're going to get our post process volume elements from our camera.main.gameObject.get component. So since we want to toggle this and it's just a boolean, all we have to do is do not the current value. Okay, and then just make sure that you add that script to a game object when you're done. And at this point, everything should work. So let's go into play mode and just check it out real quick. Okay, we're in play mode. I'm pressing tab and we can see that it's properly toggling. If you guys like this content, make sure to subscribe and hit notifications.